Hey guys, welcome back. Many of you guys have been asking me about Alexis ROM. In this video, I will give my thoughts on Alexis ROM 8.5.1, which is based on Android 9, Samsung One UI, and also show you how to install this ROM on Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Let's try this ROM on my Galaxy S8 Plus and see if this ROM is any better than Hates ROM and Light ROM. Let's find out. Before we start, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If your phone is not rooted, I have a video to show you how to root. The link is in the description. Follow the instructions and when you are done, come back to this video. You need to go to XDA developers page and download the ROM zip file. Find the link in the description. Then copy the file into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now turn off your phone, press and hold volume up, Bixby and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. Swipe to allow modifications. Click on wipe. Format data. Type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe. Select cache and Dalvik cache. Then swipe to wipe. Then go to install. Choose the ROM zip file. And swipe to flash. Installation begins with Aroma installer. Agree to the terms. You can see change logs for all versions of this ROM. Click on next. You need to select clean install here. Then select the features to install. I choose edge features and leave rest of the features unchecked. Select Samsung apps that you need and click next. I prefer to use Google Assistant than Bixby, so I will skip this. I don't use Samsung Goodlock, so I will skip these apps. There are a couple of tweaks here. Increase image quality to 100 and to disable app killer to retain background apps in the memory for longer time. But then, this will impact the phone's performance big time. I don't find these two tweaks useful at all, so let us skip this. Then we have CSE mods. These are the tweaks we should be looking at. I select camera during call, camera shutter to disable camera shutter sound. Then I'll take call recorder. Click on next. Choose Majisk to have root access. You can enable dual speaker mod, which makes the earpiece as second speaker. Wiper for Android is not fully functional yet. So let's select S9 Dolby sound mod. YouTube wants is also not stable, so select no. Then I select One UI 2.1 keyboard, S10 wallpapers, stock fonts and stock emojis. Click next to start installation. When it is done, Click on Reboot System. First boot will take some time, so don't panic. Now the phone has booted up. Coming to the features that we chose during installation, we are rooted with Majisk. Camera works during a call.
we can disable camera shutter sound dual speaker mode is also working fine you also get an app called theme park which lets you design custom themes choose your wallpaper and play around with different colors and styles to create your own theme Talking about performance, Alexis ROM is better than stock ROM and light ROM. But hates ROM is still the king when it comes to benchmark scores. That doesn't mean Alexis ROM is sluggish by any means. No lag, no heating issues while playing games. Battery performance is also very good and more importantly, this ROM is completely bug free and without any doubt, you should try this. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not. I will see you on the next one. Until next time, take care.